volvemos con el negro que te lo hace lo oscuro y el cofre Sony Tapic, el duro de lo duro, el fuerte de lo fuerte. No quiero decir delicado, pero un, un tema que no tomamos, eh, no hablamos de él abiertamente. Eh, ¿Cuál es el significado del de amor verdadero? What's the meaning? Uh, what's the meaning of true love? Una situación en la cual muchos queremos decir que um, amamos a alguien, pero no enteramente. Y con esto quiero decir que amamos lo que esa persona puede eh, proveer para nosotros. Eh, amamos su sonrisa, su placer sexual, eh, su placer de su presencia. Pero creo que el amor verdadero es una situación donde um, hay un, una, una calle de dos vías. En el cual yo estoy más preocupado en lo que yo te puedo dar porque estoy invirtiendo de mí en ti y creo que eso, eso es el amor cuando yo cuando yo quiero invertir eh, mi tiempo quiero invertir mis palabras eh, mi gesto contigo porque eso es lo que quiero hacer eso eso tú eres la persona donde yo quiero dejar algo que pueda producir um, y en verdaderamente sí es espectacular cuando alguien te quiere para atrás y alguien te um, te da todos los placeres que necesitas como persona emocionalmente sexualmente pero eh, creo que a veces nos preocupamos un poquito mucho en lo que nos pueden dar y no lo que podemos dar. Y creo que esa es la parte más importante. Creo que eso es la, el verdadero significado de, um, de la mar. Te puedo dar um, una flor eh, y no tanto porque es un gesto emocional, pero porque es un gesto que a mí me gusta darle a la persona en el cual um, tengo ese sentimiento. Y no es que necesito que tú estés, oh my God, me dio una flor el hombre, Dios mío. No necesariamente. Pero es el, 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 el placer de yo saber que estoy llegando a un punto en el cual la relación entre tú y yo um, está avanzando. Y yo querer regalarte esta flor es como un significado a mí mismo. Porque eh, hubo un hombre que dijo una vez, like, I love fish. So, I love fish, so I make fish and I eat fish. Because I love fish. Um, and I know this sounds a bit like random and shit. But think about it. He says, do you really love fish? Because you take the fish out the water, you kill it, you cook it, and then you eat it. So, do you really love fish? Is that really love? Es un, es un ejemplo en el cual ¿tú a veces pensamos que queremos las cosas y amamos las cosas, pero verdaderamente no. Amamos lo que pueden hacer para nosotros, pero no lo que nosotros podemos hacer para ellos. Por lo cual fue que dije que a mí me gusta, yo creo que el amor es cuando a ti te gusta invertirte a ti mismo en una persona. Y creo que eso es lo que le da a uno el, el placer. Creo que eso es lo que a uno le da la sonrisa. Creo que eso es lo que le da a uno ese, ese glow. De, um, de estar enamorado. It's, it's very difficult to define if you haven't um, evolved as a human, uh, if you haven't evolved as a person. Uh, do I think everybody's ready for love? Not at all. You know, I think people need to have this sense of who they are, where they want to go, what they are trying to accomplish in life. Oh yeah, so I think every guy has to go to this wild stage where like you really like explore all the shit that you want to do. You know, you have all your sexual cravings Um, satisfied, and I, and I say it like that because I feel like that's a lot of the reason why a lot of men cheat. But then on the other hand, I don't, I, you know, I think love is is a two way street. I don't think men cheat just because cheat, they cheat. And somebody uh, made a, uh, I think it was Tyrese. Tyrese made this reference. If me and you're in a relationship and I'm at my darkest point, I'm I'm at the the lowest point of my life. I feel like as a significant other, um, you you know you have the responsibility of you know trying to provide something that's gonna like uplift me and move me on from this point. They asked him like, yo, like, if you could be on an island by yourself and bring a thing or someone, and his response was, it wouldn't be her. That is crazy. You're supposed to be like someone who I can support with, and then you ask why somebody cheats if you can't provide, if you can't help someone. Emotionally, spiritually, um, sexually, like, are you ready to love? Are you ready to even be a wife? You know, because I think a lot of these girls think, oh, I got a ring. Boom, 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 I got a ring. <laughs> fuck Beyonce for doing that shit. It's, it's more than just this fucking uh, number that I could put on your fucking index finger. Like, you know, it's it's more it's more than just um, the walking down the aisle. It's more than just saying yes. It's, it's more than just, you know, changing your last name. It's it's more than that, you know. It's, it's, it's about... Per Giving something to someone that can't be replaced. And, you know, I, I think um, friendship is one of those things that 
that you you're to always give and you know and I hate when people talk about like their exes like oh like they were like the worst experience in the world but then I ask them you you were together for eight years so you're telling me it was eight years of hell so why the fuck were you in it in the first place there's there's these moments of happiness there's these moments of joys there's these moments that keep us together there's these moments that there's these future moments that we picture that keep us together because we want to share these moments with this person and that's what that's what love is that's when that's when you can really say that you you're in love with someone when the current the current moment has you just giving everything that you have to them and it's to a point that sometimes even it's uh, you know for you know the society is even toxic like you know what i mean like be in love and be blinded be in love and not worry what the world around you is be in love and and give yourself completely to someone you know i think i think that's when you when you're really in love because other than that i don't see it being love i just maybe lust you know there's a bunch of girls out there who are what am i fucking it's just this reality you know but do i love them not at all like you know i have a i have a sexual desire for you you know that's one of my needs that's being met an emotional attachment not at all like one of the most difficult things is to accomplish that emotional attachment with someone, especially with me. Like, I'm not too good on, on allowing people to come into my emotional space. But when you do allow that friend to get to that emotional part, that's when I think the 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 spring of where love comes from starts working. Then it's more about you know satisfying physical needs, satisfying emotional needs, spiritual needs. Ooh, Jenny. Hey, Jenny. Hi, it's someone, girl. Huh? Jenny brings up a point. She says that when somebody puts um, they're um, someone else's needs in front of theirs. Uh, I wouldn't say the word needs. I'm gonna say wants, and I'm explaining to you wants. There's a difference. And someone, <laughs> someone taught me this. The difference between needs and wants is that needs you can't live without. Wants is something that you could do, but you just tied not to. You know, we have a lot of needs in life that um, have to be met for us to stay sane. And wants is something that we just kind of add on top to have that you know that adds that extra joy or that extra fun stage. There's that point where you could take away your your wants for someone, you know? And I feel like that's really when love um, uh, flourishes because, you know, the other person does notice is the fact that, hey, look, you, she used to do this, this, and this because it was a choice to her, but she's no longer doing it. Why? Because I'm currently in a stage where I need her attention. I'm currently in a stage where I need her support. You know what I mean? And not, is, it, is it a lifetime decision? No, I don't think it's a lifetime decision, but I think it's sometimes for um, the current time or a current um, situation that sometimes we let our wants go um and help someone's needs you see what you see what i see what i did there all right see what i did there um it's okay for us to let our wants go to satisfy our significant other's needs you know it's you know i'm willing to give something that is uh temporary to me something that is uh just a moment something that is doesn't hold so much significant value to me to help someone accomplish something that is um, valuable something that is needed in that person's life and i think that's you know i think that's a good foundation to the starting of love. Um, yeah. Uh, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do something that's going to happen. I think that's what I'm going to do. Sin pensado. Yeah. That's it. That's what love is. Reacting. That's Wor it. Words by Grispin. Reacting. React. Something happened, need your help, go get it. Something happened, they're happy, you get happy for no reason. 